So you start applying oil because you don't want to pull your skin. You want to just let the gua sha glide over your skin. So apply your facial oil. And if you're using a good facial oil, um, it's really great because the product is going to penetrate that much more deeply. Okay. Always put the oil on your neck too because gua sha starts on the neck. We're going to go to the face and then we're going to end on the neck. So let's start on the neck. Take the tool. I like to use for the back of my neck that notch. Find your vertebrae and just drag it up to the base of your spine and just give it a little bit of a wiggle. You're going to do each movement around five times. The next side is the side of your neck. I like to use the flat side. Start at your clavicle and again sweep up. This idea is you're loosening all of the channels in your neck and you finish up just underneath your ear where your lymph nodes are and just give that a nice little gentle wiggle. Next, you're going to do the front of your neck. Take your two fingers and find the base of your clavicle and use the notch and just sweep up very gently. As you start to do gua sha more regularly, you're going to find the pressure that really works for you. But it's good to start quite gently. Okay, now you've done both, you'll do both sides of your neck, back, front. It's time to do your face. Let's start with the jaw. You're going to hold onto your chin and you're going to sweep it up and really get in there and just Again, right underneath between the jaw and your ear, you want to just give it a nice little massage. And you'll do both sides about five times. After the jaw, we're going to do the cheek. So hold on to your nose. I love this part and I love looking, looking, using this sort of um, crook. And I go in here and I like to do sort of a J stroke right up and finish off just around your hairline, massage your temple. Next, you're going to do your eyes. Again, be very gentle. I use this part. I hold on to my skin here on my nose. Just go under your eye and then swoop it up. Right through into cross your temple, right to your hairline, and just give yourself a really nice massage. After you do under your eye, you can do over your eye. Hold your skin and just take the top of the gua sha and do a nice sweeping upward movement to your hairline. After you do the top of your eye, you can do your brow. Hold on to your skin. You can go across here. We all, many of us have a little line there. Right to your hairline. And then you can do also your brow. I sometimes put my fingers just on my eyeball and then just pull it up really gently. And again, it's just a sweeping motion right to the hairline. So the idea is you're loosening all that area. And after you've done that, you're going to take advantage of the fact that that's all kind of dislodged and it's lymphatic drainage down through your neck. So we finish off with a nice sweeping gentle motion from behind, underneath your, your, your jawline and your ear where your lymph nodes are. And you're just going to pull all of that down right to your clavicle and just give it a little bit of a wiggle. And you're going to do both sides. So that's the basic routine. Start with that and then see how you get on and you can add your own, your own movements. Um, I would say don't worry about spending ages on it. It's better to do it little and often so that you get a real feel for the stone and then you can spend as much or as little time as you want. 
I sometimes think if people feel they have to spend ages doing it, it really doesn't get done. And it's so beneficial. I found within a couple of days, my face was just brighter and more lifted.